Hello and welcome to Backyard Food Guide. Today I am going to talk about some of my favorite varieties of tomatoes that are both easy to grow and taste really good. So these are the ones that I would recommend for beginners to grow from seed. I have a couple here that I grew from seed that I'll show and talk about. So in terms of the secret of growing tomatoes, it is really having lots of sun and really consistent watering. Those would be the main characteristics of tomatoes. And so what I've done is chosen five varieties that I have found to be successful and plan to grow again. What I have are a combination of determinant and indeterminate tomatoes. So the determinant tomatoes tend to be bushy and can be held up with a tomato cage. They will produce a lot within a short period of time, roughly three to four weeks, and then be finished. The indeterminate, which is a much more popular variety, tends to vine, so they will grow quite tall and they'll need either a stake or a trellis. Some people uh, put together string or wire along their garden beds in order for them to wind up. And we've been successful with both kinds. So in terms of starting from seed, the best time to start tomato seeds would be in mid-March to April and the seeds usually take about 7 to 14 days to come up. For tomatoes, most seed manufacturers talk about the growing days in terms of the transplant time. So they don't really count that March to May and June time period. What they're looking for is the time that you're able to transplant your tomatoes from the indoors to the outside. So for the early varieties of tomatoes, which would be roughly, some are as little as 55 to 70 days, those would be considered the early varieties. For those transplants, it's a good idea to wait until the temperature is about 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 degrees Celsius, so a nighttime low of a minimum of that temperature, you can then transplant out. And for the main varieties, what you'll want to do is to, so anything over 70 days, you would want to wait until the overnight temperature low is um, a minimum of 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius. So the first easy tomato to grow from seed, especially for beginners, would be this early girl tomato, which I grew from seed a few months ago, and it is now ready to be hardened. So during the day, I'll put it outside. At night, I will bring it back into the greenhouse, and I'll do that for maybe about a week. And if it's still looking really good, then I'll probably go ahead and transplant it right into the garden. The early girl tomato is a great indeterminate variety. The growing time is 57 days and it will be earlier than most other tomatoes and it keeps fruiting throughout the summer so it is an indeterminate. It has large tomatoes with lots of flavor and it is highly disease resistant. So especially to um, a common tomato disease called the Fusarium wilt, the early girl is particularly good at resisting that one. The second one that I'd like to introduce is the Celebrity Tomato. This is, similar to the early girl, a hybrid tomato, and this one, however, is determinant. So it will bush and you can support it with a regular tomato cage. The Celebrity Tomato is about 70 days for, to reach maturity and it is a strong plant that is impressively resistant to many different kinds of tomato diseases. It tastes great and produces tons of tomatoes. So last year we had really good luck with the celebrity. We had in fact so many tomatoes that after giving away a number we were able to freeze some as well. 
The third kind of tomato I'd like to talk about is the Bonnie Best. So this is the one, again, I started from seed about six weeks ago. And for the Bonnie Best, this is actually an heirloom seed. It is indeterminate. So um, unlike the Early Girl and the Celebrity, which are hybrids, the Bonnie Best is has been around for a very long time so as an heirloom seed these are great to grow and the challenges of course with an heirloom is that they're not usually bred specifically to withstand particular diseases but the bonnie best naturally does that quite well it produces medium-sized bright red tomatoes and it is fairly crack resistant so you know how sometimes if a tomato gets too big and if it hasn't been watered consistently and properly if it goes through a dry period then a crack might appear in the tomato so the bonnie best is particularly good at resisting that it grows strong, large vines, and the tomatoes have a great flavor. It is, has a firm flesh and with very few seeds. The last two varieties that I'd like to recommend would be the Sun Gold Cherry Tomato. This is an indeterminate hybrid and it takes about 65 days to reach maturity. These cherry tomatoes fruit and can ripen relatively quickly. So the nice thing is that you're not waiting for the tomato to stay on the vine for a very long time and risking something happening to the green tomato. The sun gold cherry is really bright orange with a high sugar content and low acidity. It has tall vines, so as an indeterminate cherry tomato, you're going to need to have wire supports or a trellis or a, or a tall stake in order to keep them upright. The last one I'd like to recommend is the Sunrise Bumblebee. This is a beautiful cherry tomato that has orange flesh with streaks of bright gold. It is a very sweet flavor and has a nice texture. It looks amazing in salads and similar to the Sun Gold Cherry, it is an indeterminate and it is, however, open pollinated. So it's not a hybrid. It Last year, it grew really well with no diseases and no cracking at all. So this is another one that I would highly recommend. I hope this was a useful video in terms of recommending the top five easiest to grow tomatoes for beginners. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.